Everyone knows about the Great Pyramids and the Golden Tombs, but have you ever wondered what life was like for people who didn't lead like pharaohs? What were the secrets, struggles, and untold stories of everyday Egyptian life? Join me as we pull back the curtain and reveal the hidden world of those who built Egypt's greatest monuments, but never saw the inside of a palace. When we think of ancient Egypt, the Great Pyramids, powerful pharaohs, and gold-plated artifacts often take center stage. But these monuments are only part of the story. Beyond the pyramids, daily life was bustling with activity. Farmers planted crops on the banks of the Nile. Artisans made jewelry and pottery, and priests performed rituals far from the royal temples. This video will reveal the fascinating, often hidden secrets of ancient Egyptian life: how they lived, worked, loved, and even entertained themselves. The beating heart of Egypt Nile River was more than just a body of water; it was also the lifeline of ancient Egypt. For ordinary Egyptians, the rhythm of daily life followed the cycle of the river's flooding. Farmers relied on annual floods to grow crops such as wheat and barley which were essential for making bread and beer. Fishing in the Nile River and its canals supplemented their diet, and papyrus reeds were harvested to make paper and boats. But life near the Nile was not always predictable. Severe flooding could bring famine, and everyone rich and poor felt the effects. The famous hymn to the Nile captures the people's awe and dependence on the river, reflecting both gratitude and anxiety. The labor behind the wondrous gray pyramids of Giza and other colossal monuments were not the work of slaves, as early historians once thought, but rather skilled laborers and craftsmen. These workers lived in communities, such as the village of Deir El Medina. Which was built near the main construction site. They were paid in rations, bread, beer, and onions were staples. Despite the backbreaking work, many workers took pride in their skills. Graffiti found near the tomb site shows workers boasting about their accomplishments. We finished the tomb of King X in record time. Their lives were hard, but not without perks. They sponsored healthcare, holidays, and even labor strikes when conditions became unbearable. Did you know that the world's first recorded labor strike occurred during the reign of Ramses III? The workers refused to resume their work until they received their overdue rations. Then imagine going up against the pharaoh himself. Domestic life and family secrets. Daily life in ancient Egypt revolved around the household. Families lived in simple mud brick homes, often with a roof over which they slept during the hot summer nights. Marriage was not just a personal choice, but also an economic and social contract. Love played a significant role. Ancient Egyptian love poetry expresses tender emotions and romantic passion. The ancient Egyptians also believed in equality in marriage. Both men and women could file for divorce if a relationship failed, and women had the legal right to own property. And run business is something unheard of in many ancient civilizations. As one quote from an ancient Egyptian love poem reads, "My heart seeks you, my love, as a swan seeks the water it craves." More than just work, life in ancient Egypt was not all about work. Festivals were held frequently, often dedicated to gods and goddesses, and involved singing, dancing, and copious amounts of beer. And acrobats were highly valued, performing at banquets for nobles and even for commoners during the celebrations. The Apis festival in Thebes was a joyous occasion. People gathered to watch statues of Amun Ramat. And concert being paraded along the river, accompanied by music and cheering. These celebrations allowed people to escape from their daily routines and enjoy a feast, offering a glimmer of joy amidst the challenges of life. Medicine and magic, the secret to healing the body and soul. The Egyptians were pioneers in medicine, using a combination of practical remedies and magical spells to treat illnesses. Doctors known as Sanu relied on herbal remedies, surgery, and spells. For example, honey, known for its antibacterial properties, was applied to wounds, and poppy seeds were used to relieve pain. However, The Egyptians also believed that illness could be caused by supernatural forces. To ward off evil spirits, they wore protective amulets, and priests recited spells for the sick. Their blend of medicine and magic shows how spirituality and science were closely intertwined in their worldview. More than just the pharaohs, while the pharaohs built large temples, ordinary Egyptians also practiced their own forms of worship. Many homes had small altars dedicated to household gods, such as baths. The protector of family life. These private rituals were as important to them as the larger ceremonies held in state temples. The Egyptians believed in a complex afterlife in which hearts would be weighed against the feather of mud, the goddess of truth and justice. Funeral preparations, such as mummification, were not limited to the nobility. Even commoners sought to preserve their bodies for the afterlife. Though not everyone could afford the elaborate process, did you know that small statues called shabti were placed in tombs to act as attendants to the deceased? 
galaxies in the afterlife. It wasn't just pharaohs who prepared for eternity. Inventions that shaped history's ancient Egyptians were accomplished innovators. From the earliest form of toothpaste made from crushed eggshells and ash to sophisticated irrigation systems, they found ingenious ways to improve everyday life. They were also the first to use a Sanliwugang Day calendar based on the stars, which allowed them to predict the annual flooding of the Nile River. Their writing system, hieroglyphs, wasn't just the elite. Many ordinary Egyptians could read and write keeping personal records on pieces of pottery and limestone known as ostraca. Education was highly valued and children were often sent to scribe schools if their families could afford it. The ancient Egyptians may be long gone but their stories live on in the artifacts, texts and monuments they left behind. Behind the splendor of the pharaohs and pyramids was a world filled with hardworking farmers, skilled craftsmen and ordinary families who shaped Egyptian civilization. They these people may not have worn crowns but their contributions were just as important in building one of the greatest societies in history. Thank you for joining me today as we uncover the hidden life beyond the pyramids. If you enjoyed this journey through ancient Egypt, be sure to hit the like button subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss an episode. See you on History for Everyone where history truly belongs to all of us.